Borneo is a fabulous destination, I think, mostly because of the variety it offers. Um, it's a huge island, but actually everything is condensed into this small space in the grand scheme of things. You've got fantastic people, great fun, friendly, wonderful colourful markets. You've got fabulous beaches, um, crystal clear waters, some of the best dive spots in the world, and then you've got the rainforest, which is <laughs> what everybody goes for. Kuching is a great way to start a trip. It gives you a great foundation of which to then go, oh, I've learned a little bit about Borneo and its people. It's not all about the wildlife. Um, it's got a huge history. It's hugely multicultural, um, from the old colonial influence to the Malays, the Chinese, um, as well as um, the various, gosh, there's hundreds of different tribes within the region that you can learn about the history of. Staying in a longhouse on the Lemonac River is a really great experience. Um, you get to really understand how some of the tribes live. Um, we visit an Iban tribe, which are the old headhunting tribes. So they'll tell you their stories and what they used to do. You'll learn how much of their traditions they still manage to maintain. The Kunapatanga River is, if you were going to choose one place to go in Borneo to see the wildlife, that's where you'd go. Um, you don't do any trekking, you pretty much potter up and down the river for a couple of days on a riverboat. Um, it's one of the best places to see orangutans, pygmy elephants, proboscis monkeys. Um, pygmy elephants are a real favourite of mine. Um, the first time I went to the river, we went searching for the elephants. Um, all of the other boats were heading the other way, so I thought I'd miss them. And we literally, it was a real movie moment, we rounded the corner and along the riverbank were 30 plus elephants. Mount Kinabalu is a pretty famous mountain on Borneo, right on the edge of the city of Kota Kinabalu. Um, it's, it's a highlight, it's not for the faint-hearted, it's a surprisingly hard trek, but it's quite short-lived and I think it's, it's, a, it's a real achievement to, to climb a mountain anywhere in the world. Um, but once you get to the top of, of Kinabalu, it's, it's, it's like a, a lunar landscape, you've got rainforest behind you, where you know there's just a whole host of incredible species. Palm oil plantations to the other side, which, you know, paint a real picture of Borneo. And then you've got a view out to go to Kinabalu, the city, which you get to see at night and then as the sun rises. Dyer Island is a great place to visit at the end of a trip. Uh, you can have a really busy trip in Borneo, so you always want somewhere just to unwind, put your feet up. Beautiful beaches, um, a great rainforest interior, and it's part of a, a larger marine park near the Tunkan Abdul Rahman Marine Park, of which there are, in the area there are over 60 dive sites and snorkeling sites. So an afternoon, fantastic, colourful, wonderful coral and snorkeling, crystal clear waters, fantastic way to end a trip.